Yay, it's May the 1st. Free time to do some work. So today, guys, I wanted to talk to you about printing the web, serverless stuff again, and maybe some time for a, a GitHub pull request. <clears throat> Let's begin. So often I've faced at work is that a question comes up with, since I love to work with web applications, how do you print this? And I think the web is pretty good for printing. This is why I've said in my previous video about LaTeX, don't use ZTEC, LaTeX, use the web. And I just wanted to show off the service thing where you put in a URL and it generates for you the PDF version. And I'm no fan of PDF, but since there's no um, sort of format to, to sort of get uh, some, a web page together, I did work on W3C widgets, but that didn't really seem to fly. We're kind of stuck with PDF for printing the web. So let me show you how I did this. Um, I actually discovered this project. There's, there's lots of serverless examples, like uh, the ones on serverless slash examples, which I also contributed to uh, if you want to get started. But here I found this example um, where the guy there's an, here's another thing you probably don't know about uh, Lambda functions. You can actually um, just run an a AMD64 binary in, in your, on your Lambda thing. You know, doesn't matter what language it, it, it's uh, sort of ca came from, as long as it can run AMD64. So I came across this project, and I deployed it. You just clone it, SLS deploy after changing maybe your profile, and this is what his example looks like. But the um, the user experience I thought was awful. See this pop ups are pop ups. No, no pop ups. Very very bad. I hope you can see that. I hope my face didn't obscure it. So I cloned it down and I made a few changes. Uh, you can probably see my changes. Oh, I made actually I made some quite interesting changes. Um, can I show you through the web what my changes are? So the changes are exciting because there's a little known serverless uh, feature where you can actually enable uh, binary support. It looks like this in your A API gateway. See that star star? Then, um, I mean, I, it seems a bit hacky and bizarre, but um, when you enable binary support, Everything that seemed to come into the Lambda function is um, binary 64 encoded. And everything that you, that comes out of the binary, uh, and, when you, and when you sort of uh, return, you return by, uh, base 64 and, and, and it becomes binary. So now the user experience, I'm also using this funny new thing called URL, create object URL, whatever. So now I can basically have an inline uh, PDF like this. Isn't that kind of silly? I wonder if YouTube.com would work for all the YouTubers out there. Um, and I deployed it. But I did have a couple of issues. Um, for example, the calls headers just disappeared when I started using the, the weird binary support. But I got around that by creating a CloudFront distribution and as you can see, on this particular, yeah, how does it work again? You set up, you set up an origin. So this is this is the API gateway endpoint uh, created by the Lambda serverless thing. And then you have a bit behavior slash star st slash stage star, and that goes to the API gateway. And it works. Please play around with it. Please tell me what you think. Um, and it, yeah, it just sends that URL to um, PhantomJS binary and and does the web page thing. Finally, I since I made these changes, I should obviously contribute them back, which I did. In terms of a pull request, where's pull request? <laughs> And uh, yeah, I just wanted to share the pull request with you, I guess. Um, the, I always find pull requests with GitHub a bit weird. Like, you first clone it, but my tip is, my tip 
is that if you use um, a tool called Hub, it, it becomes a bit easier. It's just a Ruby wrapper script, and you can alias that to get done by GitHub. So the idea is that you, you hub fork, um, which creates the repo in your own repository. You have to have a GitHub account. You then you then push the changes um, to your own repository, and then you just type hub pull request, and boom, you have a pull request. Okay, um, that's it, guys. That's all I want to share um, with you today. If you know better, please let me know. Otherwise, please like the video and subscribe. Cheers, guys. Bye.